Here are the top local stories you need to know as you get ready to start your day. Your Thursday morning rush starts right now. A bond has not been set for the suspect accused of shooting at police at a West Columbia hotel on Tuesday. 34 year old Jonathan Saylor appeared in court yesterday. Saylor is facing several charges, including attempted murder. The judge says bond could not be set because of the attempted murder charge. The judge says Saylor will have to appear before a circuit court judge at a later date. Programs at the McCready Training Center are currently in a stand down following a fight Tuesday evening that left 14 youth cadets and one staff member in the hospital. The South Carolina National Guard says the incident started over a personal matter. Officials say eventually a separate fight broke out between cadets at the Youth Challenge Program. Staff says the stand down is taking place while they look into how the fight was handled, how incidents like this could be prevented and where the response could have been made better. And happening today, board members in Richland School District 2 are going to hold a special called meeting to discuss potential interim superintendent options. This comes after the board agreed to let Dr. Baron Davis resign from the position on Tuesday. He was a superintendent for the past six years. Some parents have reacted to the departure of Dr. Davis, saying the district's dysfunction is taking away from education. Today's meeting takes place at 530 this evening. Well, that is your Thursday morning rush. For more local headlines, just visit our web channel, WLTX.com. You can also find the very latest by downloading the free News 19 app.